What is going on YouTube, Fezza family, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe for all the latest UK media updates of course. So a lot of rappers to come back from jail in 2020, these are a couple I'm excited for. Probably will be a part 2 because we've got so many good rappers coming back this year. Comment who I can include in part 2 and comment your favourite rapper out of these 4 I'm going to include your most excited for. First up we have Heady1, not really a long stretch, he got sentenced to 6 months uh, at the beginning of the year and I expect to see him back next month in March at some point. He got sentenced to 6 months to so do half his sentence. Uh, he went inside for possession of a bladed article. I was, I was really surprised at this, how big he's become and uh, still feels the need to defend himself with a knife and stuff like that. But listen, when you come from a certain predicament, you've always got to look over your shoulder no matter what. But he needs to learn from this and think it's not worth carrying it. Um, he's definitely going to be a target now for stops and searches as well. And getting done with this again, I'm surprised he only got six months this time. Maybe it's because he's got so much going on for him and they can see that he's got a way out to leave the road life and stuff like that. But for him getting six months for possession of a bladed article when they're trying to hammer down on it and give the biggest sentences they can at the moment he was very very lucky but um yeah i expect to see him back some point in march uh, he'd only do three months and nothing's come out about him having fights inside or anything next up we have slim a lot of guys compare this guy to fredo i think he's got his own little bit of his own style now and he's starting to develop himself and find himself within the industry and then he went inside uh, july 2019 he got arrested on drug charges uh, for trapping in scotland a uh, very very light sentence again maybe they see the potential he had of two years i expect he'll do a year and he should be coming out summer of 2020 i cannot wait for a summer banger like again and again um and this guy can really start to focus on music now and leave that last door behind so many of these rappers in the drug trade cannot really make the money in music that they're making in a drug trade and look how big he is he's got tunes with millions of views and even he can't do it so think about the guys that are getting hundreds of thousands and stuff like that they're not really making money off music and it's hard to do shows when you're getting shut down by trident and all these police forces and all these different people that want to shut it shows the main income like a lot of people don't buy music online nowadays youtube views don't pay really well they're not uploading a lot of content it's literally a music video every couple of months so they can't live off the youtube income so so incomes are coming in from shows a lot of the time and if you can't perform and you're actually about a life you've got gangs coming to shows and stuff like that it makes it really hard but i expect to see slim back in the summer and i cannot wait a lot a lot of people are gassed for this one pot of paper i expect to see him back late this year he got sentenced to five years inside doing two and a half uh, he went inside march 2018 should be coming out late this year i cannot wait for pop he's actually done a mad sentence as well five odd years um another guy in the drug trade as well he's always rapped about it he's always rapped what he was actually living all, all these rappers they're doing it for entertainment potter was really caught up in that lifestyle um it's just such a I, I just cannot imagine right now i'm picturing potter dropping a track on like graham daly or saying it's just gonna be crazy and this guy is another guy that built up enough of a fan base to reclaim um for a white rapper in the uk we've only got a few that are really popping you've got k coat benny banks potter paper um you know h obviously now but th there's only a few guys that are really about it and lived that life and coke was one of them potter was definitely one of them and um this guy coming back to the cause havoc on the scene a very well respected mc and definitely respected on the roads as well but he just needs to choose the mc route rather than the roads i'm sure he's gonna learn this is a long stretch but jail was nothing to potter he's been before a few times so it's hard to say whether you're gonna take music serious or just go back to doing what he's doing. Hopefully he chooses the music side of things. With Potter Paper, it's not 100% confirmed that we're seeing back though. I will say this, when you get sentences over four years, you can sometimes spend two thirds of it inside rather than half, which means we're seeing back early 2021. But also you have a parole board meeting where you find out if you're eligible and a risk to come out, but there is a strong possibility we can see him in 2020 back. Last up, the guy we've been waiting for for the longest is Sweets. He's put so many hints on Twitter lately and I cannot wait to make a video of saying that this guy is home and he's going to blow up. So much talent was always kind of underrated in the UK scene in terms of how good he is, even though he'd become a big artist. Him, Benny Banks, Joe Black, they had Islington on literally lockdown. Them, them guys were running things over there. And um, Sweets has always been putting things on Twitter for years though, so it's really hard to say, but there's no way. I think he served up his whole sentence for what he initially got arrested and put inside for. So it must be minor offences like breach of stuff in, in, in jail and stuff like that and doing certain things. And when you get such a long stretch over years and years, you're going to end up making mistakes. So he's probably got a few minor things at like 28 days here, 30, like he, a few little bits and bobs added on to his sentence which is just longed it out because i'm pretty sure he's served up 
initial amount of time he went in for now but sweets is that guy i cannot wait he's an old school legend the, the rap scene has changed so much since when he was active and it'd be interesting actually to see if he can adapt and reclaim how good he actually was subscribe to the channel for all the latest uk media updates which one of these rappers are you looking forward to seeing the most obviously heady one was literally out not too long ago and still got tunes that are active now but subscribe to the channel uh comment some people for our part two and i'll see you in my next video peace